The governor of the Central Bank of Nigeria, Godwin Emefile, has launched a tertiary institutions entrepreneurship scheme, ties, and intervention aimed at tackling unemployment and underemployment among Nigerian uh, youths. At the launch of the scheme in Abuja, Emefile also presented checks ranging from uh, 4.1 million naira to 5 million naira to graduate entrepreneurs whose proposals were found uh, worthy of CBN's financing under the pilot scheme. He charged the made-in beneficiaries of the scheme to utilize the loans for the purpose that it was given. Emmanuel Aldo was there and completes the story. In July 2021, at the 35th Conference of Vice Chancellors of Nigeria University held at Kano State University of Science and Technology, the Central Bank of Nigeria said it was developing a tertiary institution entrepreneurship scheme to train and finance entrepreneurship ideas of Nigerian universities with intention to support the development of entrepreneurial culture through the introduction of seamless access to affordable finance for graduate and create employment opportunities for Nigerian youth. It's like a dream come true as the Central Bank of Nigeria has finally launched the scheme for the benefit of Nigerian graduates. To the official launch of the Tertiary Institutions Entrepreneurship Scheme and intervention of the Central Bank of Nigeria uh, that is aimed at addressing the dual challenge of youth unemployment and underemployment in Nigeria. This scheme, developed in partnership with the Nigerian Polytechnics and Universities, is designed to harness the potentials of graduate entrepreneurs by creating a paradigm shift from the pursuit of white collar jobs to a culture of entrepreneurship for economic development and job creation in Nigeria. As you all are aware, at the occasion of the 51st Convocation of the University of Lagos in July 2021, I delivered the Convocation Lecture titled National Development and Knowledge Economy in the Digital Age, Leapfrogging Small and Medium Enterprises into the 21st Century. At that event, I promised the Central Bank of Nigeria will seek fresh collaboration with our country's tertiary institutions to develop entrepreneurship programs and to support through the provision of access to finance graduates and undergraduates who have bankable ideas to bring them to fruition. Um, at that event, it was just an idea that, just, that occurred at the point of just making my presentation or presenting my lecture at the University of Lagos in July 2021. Basically, again, I was just looking back at the Nigerian educational sector and Nigerian educational system. And I say, and honestly, again, looking back at when we were in the universities, honestly, perhaps at that time there were fewer, few, only just few of us that were graduating for the, from the universities. And what we used to see those days would be that by the time you are in your third year or your fourth year, Companies, whether it is hospitals, whether it is engineering firms, oil firms, banks, various institutions that, are, that play active role in the economy will normally come to financial, to the tertiary institutions to interview the students who are graduating with a view to providing them with employment. I say at that time there were a few of us but again, that was when things were good. 
what are, what are the, what am I saying? Before, what what it meant? What this means is that before you graduate from the university, as long as you pass well, you are assured of um, employment. Indeed, during our time, you find that as those or before our time, those who had first class, second class of our universities themselves would retain them and send them on direct PhD programs abroad and they come back and become lecturers. That was what we saw then again in the Nigerian universities. Unfortunately today, the trend is different. We find people our youth, our youths, our young boys, young girls, not only that when they graduate, they, they know there's nobody, or before they graduate, there's nobody that visits them to conduct employment tests or interviews for them. They graduate, complete the NYSC, there are no jobs. And I was at that lecture at the University of Lagos in July 2021. I was lamenting the high incidence of youth unemployment and the fact that something needs to be done. Unfortunately, at this time, because of the large number of people graduating from polytechnics and universities, the, not, only that the, not, not only is it that the public institutions cannot even employ, I mean, uh, do not have space to employ them, even the private sector institutions also do not have space to employ them. But again, we cannot allow our youths to remain at home doing nothing, whereas they also possess certain skills or entrepreneurial values, which if, it, if, if they had those values or skills had been nurtured while at the university, they perhaps would have begun a process of employing not just themselves, but also employing others because of the God-given talents that they do possess. And I was tasking the universities and polytechnic authorities by saying, why should we, why should, why would they have those large expanse of land? And yet, you have a graduate of agricultural science, or a graduate of uh, Agri economics. He graduates and he comes out, he's looking for a job in an oil company. Whereas, if he had been properly trained in the skill of entrepreneurship about how to begin to develop his own agricultural, um, that's what he studied, right? And so he should have been able to begin, to be, he should have started as an entrepreneur in agriculture, given the enormous opportunities that we find in the agricultural space in Nigeria today. But yet, he graduates and what he does is that he's looking for a job either in a bank or in an oil company or even a public service that today does not have space to employ him. And I was tasking the universities that it would be nice that before you, before they say that somebody should gradu would graduate in a first class in Greek economics or in Greek science or extension services or second class of upper, perhaps that, that student who, wants, who will be graduating should show us what he did, maybe developing some seeds, high yield seeds, or what he did in a particular corner in the university where he, he, he did some agriculture, uh, business and he yielded money for him and also for the university. That was how this idea came about. So, and I thought that they will need to be discussing with university authorities to see to how we can work on developing the entrepreneurial skills of our youth so that when they come out of the university that they would just not look for job. They themselves will become job creation, creators not only for themselves, for some people. But indeed, I must say that what I am lamenting today um, is something that we find being resolved in other climes. 
There are some universities you attend in the United States or even in London today. Those students, they are taught entrepreneurial skills. They are taking through some from forms of internship in the course of their four-year or three-year programs. And when those students graduate, even with first class, you tell them you have a job for them. They said, no, they don't need a job, that they want to run their business. That is what we are trying to achieve with this program that we are putting in place. This is our only two way we are trying to say at the Central Bank of Nigeria that we are concerned about the level of unemployment in our youth population and that there is a need for us to see what can be done to solve this problem. While launching the scheme, the governor of Central Bank of Nigeria, Gordon Mayfield, said the tertiary institutions entrepreneurship scheme was conceived as part of measures to promote entrepreneurship development among Nigerian graduates and undergraduates with the release of the implementation guidelines and the opening of a portal for submission of applications in October 2021. So, engagements began and they've been ongoing between the central bank and the leadership of some tertiary institutions regarding the framework for an innovative financing model that will support entrepreneurship development among our graduates and undergraduates. This launch of the tertiary institutions entrepreneurship scheme today is a combination of the engagements and fulfillment of that promise. With about 600,000 students graduating yearly from Nigerian tertiary institutions, and without the commensurate employment opportunities in both the public and private sectors, it has become imperative that government at all levels put in place policy measures to support entrepreneurial development among our youth. Such measures would create an enabling business ecosystem that supports innovation and enables our youth to unleash their entrepreneurial potentials by redirecting their focus from seeking white collar jobs to a culture of entrepreneurship development. The ecosystem should provide support in reorientating, training, and providing a financing model apt to the peculiarity of the sector within which the businesses operate. Ladies and gentlemen, entrepreneurship is an integral part of any economy and entrepreneurs play a key role in driving growth and innovation, which in turn results in job creation. In line with its mandate of ensuring monetary and price stability, and its developmental mandate of ensuring inclusive growth of the economy, the CBN has introduced several programs that it created an ecosystem that allows the flow of affordable credit to the real sector of our economy. These interventions are industry-led and designed to support the resilience of targeted priority sectors and segments for growth and job creation. With an estimated population of 213 million, out of which two-thirds are youths aged under 35, Nigeria is faced with a historic opportunity, particularly as the demographic continues to create clear evidence of their relevance to economic development as accentuated by the global recognition of the Nigerian tech startups and continued growth of businesses in the technology space owned by the youths. In realization of this, the CBN has introduced several innovation, innovative financing programs designed to extend low-cost financing to youth entrepreneurs across the country. These interventions have continued to receive resounding commendations as they have proven effective in extending credit to youth entrepreneurs across the country. For instance, under the targeted credit facility, the CBN has disbursed a total of 363 billion naira to 766,719 beneficiaries, comprising 638,070 households 
and 128,649 small businesses. Under our agreed business scheme, the bank has released 134 billion to 37,571 entrepreneurs. Disbursements under the National Youth Investment Program so far stands at about 3 billion to 7,057 small business beneficiaries. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, as part of measures to promote entrepreneurship development among the graduates and undergraduate youth of the Nigerian Polytechnics and Universities, the CBN introduced the tertiary institutions entrepreneurship scheme in October 2021 with the release of the implementation guidelines and the opening of the portal for submission to, of applications. <laughs> The scheme is aimed at providing an innovative financing model that will support the development of innovative entrepreneurial ideas among graduates and undergraduates of tertiary institutions in Nigeria. Today's official launch of the tertiary institutions entrepreneurial scheme and subsequent inauguration of the body of experts for the scheme's developmental component is a testimony of the important roles the our youths play in, the, in building new blocks for economic growth, particularly as our national growth is highly dependent on a strong and competitive business. Bridging their financing gaps and enhancing access to low-cost credit to drive development of business is a task that can only be addressed by an innovative financing model that correlates with the complexity and dynamics of these small businesses. According to the governor, the tie consists of three main components, the term loan, the equity investment, and development grant component. The term loan component provides direct credit opportunities to graduates of Nigerian polytechnics and universities of not more than seven years post-graduation. The equity investment component is designed to support startups, existing businesses requiring expansion, and healing businesses seeking resuscitation. The developmental grant component is aimed at raising awareness and visibility of entrepreneurship among undergraduates of Nigerian tertiary institutions. Under this component, Emifili explained that polytechnics and universities in the country will compete in a national biennial entrepreneurship competition where undergraduates are presented by the tertiary institutions to pitch innovative entrepreneurial or technological ideas with transformational potential. It may feel harder that three top institutions at the regional levels shall proceed to the national level where the top five shall be awarded grants ranging between 120 million and 250 million naira. He insisted that the grant award will be used by the tertiary institution solely for the development of the award-winning ideas. Let me state that this, this scheme was designed to address three verticals of the segment, and these are, one, the term loan component, which provides direct credit opportunities to graduates of Nigerian polytechnics and universities of no more than seven years post-graduation. An applicant, if successful, shall be, shall be eligible for a maximum of five million naira for an individual, sole proprietorship or small company and a maximum of 25 million naira for a partnership or a company. The tenure for the facility is a maximum of five years with a one-year moratorium and at an interest rate of 5% per annum, which are revert to 9% by March 2022. The pilot phase of the scheme is presently being implemented through Bank of Industry with the development of an application portal and processing of submitted applications. Two, equity investment program. This component is designed to support startups, existing businesses requiring expansion and ailing businesses seeking resuscitation. The component shall be implemented under the bank's AXMIS equity window. Thus, the investment limit shall be subject to the limit prescribed by our AXMIS guidelines and investment period no more than 10 years. Three, the development grant component. This is aimed at raising awareness and visibility of entrepreneurship among undergraduates of Nigerian tertiary institutions. 
Here, polytechnics and universities in Nigeria shall compete in a national biennial entrepreneurship competition where undergraduates are presented by the tertiary institutions to pitch innovative entrepreneurial or technological ideas with transformational potential. Three top institutions at the regional levels shall proceed to the national level where the top five shall be awarded grants ranging between 120 million and 250 million naira. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, it is instructive to note that grant awards shall be used by the tertiary institutions solely for the development of the award-winning ideas. At this point, I wish to express my sincere gratitude to the body of experts comprising professionals of impeccable standing drawn from the academia, professional bodies, and industry. The body has been constituted to evaluate and rank entrepreneurial presentations made by tertiary institutions under the developmental grant component. More importantly, the, bank, the body of experts shall recommend projects with high potential and transformational impact for grant awards. Also speaking at the launch, Boss Mustafa, the Secretary to the Government of the Federation, urged tertiary institutions to deploy merit in the selection of the proposed beneficiaries of the scheme, as well as monitor key performance indicators as applications are submitted. Represented by Olakunle Fashino, Director of Public Affairs and Bilateral Relations, Office of the FGF, Mustafa said not only would the ties boost economic growth and reduce credit unemployment, but it will also provide well granted incentive for the ever growing graduate population. I'm very delighted and excited to be here to be here at the formal launch of yet another scheme that the Central Bank of Nigeria, in its traditional role of maintaining its low inflation and steady economic growth, by providing opportunities for creating wealth that is sustainable not only on an individual basis but also on an aggregate collective platform. I want to use this opportunity to commend the management and staff of the Central Bank of Nigeria for their tremendous effort in making sure that the Nigerian economy remains afloat in spite of the vehicles brought upon us by the COVID 19 pandemic. My excitement here today is underscored by the fact that the tertiary institutions' entrepreneurship scheme is not only to boost economic growth and reduce graduate unemployment. But also, it is, to, it is going to provide a well grounded incentive for our ever growing graduate population for a mentality shift from white collar jobs to employment creators. At the ceremony, the CBN governor also inaugurated a body of experts to oversee the screening of prospective beneficiaries of the scheme. The body of experts which will be inaugurated today comprises the chairman, Mr. Abubakar Suleiman, MD Sterling Bank. Emmanuel, how do you report in? Formerly, with Nancy.